Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if your Google Chrome installer is stuck on waiting to download. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu, type in CMD, best match, or come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevator command line window, type in N-E-T-S-H space Winsock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset, again, exactly how you see it on my screen. So again, N-E-T-S-H space Winsock space reset. Hit enter. Should say successfully reset the Winsock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. Now you want to type in IP config space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on the keyboard. Should come back with Windows IP configuration successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Now that that has concluded, go ahead and close out of here and we want to restart our computer. And then hopefully at this point you should be good to go, guys. If you are still having an issue, we can go on to Google's website here. So just open up a web browser. It doesn't matter which one. And I'm going to have a link in the description of the video here, guys, to support that Google page here. So this is how to install Chrome. If you scroll down underneath Windows, there's an offline option here. So you can select the alternate Chrome installer. So this will be a hyperlink here. Actually, I'm probably just going to go ahead and actually copy this link and put it in the description of my video, guys. So at this point, go ahead and select the Download Chrome button on this page. Because the issue might be with it's having an issue connecting with the servers while it's attempting to download the updates with the smaller download. This is full installer, which is why we're downloading it like this. So just go ahead and run the file once it's done downloading here. And it might take a moment. You can see it does say standalone setup, which is what we want. And then verify publisher should be Google, and then select yes. You can close out of any other programs you have open. Looks like I opened up this installer a few times here. It says Chrome can be installed without administrator permissions. I'm going to select no. I accidentally ran the installer a couple times there. So that's just why I'm selecting no for those items. And then once you're done installing Chrome, let's suggest checking for updates. So we can select the three dot icon up at the top right, select help, and then select about Google Chrome. And it should tell you it's all up to date. Pretty straightforward process, guys. Do a buzzer to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.